What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. This Sunday, the 28th of March, 2021, three months into this year. Holy crap, this last week, what a week of news. I'm exhausted. I don't know about anybody else. As always, first link below, we'll take over the Patreon post. That's where you can find all this stuff. Oh, the madness. You know we're going to start off with the uh, COVID, right? New COVID uh, cases jump in 27 states as Fauci urges them to take it easy on reopening. Of course, we're going to see more surges. Get ready, people. By the summertime, everything's going to be locked down again. That's just my prediction. Put a link to that. Pfizer begins COVID vaccine trial on infants and young kids. Isn't that so nice? Or do you trust these companies to pump poison into your children? Leave your comment below. Uh, what is this here now? Donate. Okay, let me close this. Number of women to lose their unborn child after having COVID. I better not even say that out loud. Increases 366%. Uh, countless schools across country closed due to the side effects. Uh, Fauci Reddy's third shot. Of course, take more poison. Why not? CDC ignores inquiry into increasing numbers of deaths and reported by the thing. Put a link to that for the defender. Uh, this guy, AstraZeneca oncology head, dies at 61. Very strange. I wonder what's going on here. Did he commit suicide? I don't know. As far as this report goes, they're not saying. The data shows lockdowns end more lives than they save. Yes. Myself, I'm a bit of a recluse, but I can't imagine what the normal people have gone through during all this. For me, it's pretty much business as usual. Anyway, I put a link to it from the post. Uh, defiant U.S. soldiers openly questioning why BLM riots were not treated like capital insurrection. I'm wondering that, too, in other news. People are starting to think, hmm, something's not right. 81 million vote-getter Joe Biden greeted by two dozen supporters in Columbus for Ohio State speech. You people at the FBI and everybody out there, everybody in the military, you know there's something wrong. You know this for a fact, yet you do nothing. I'm going to call them all terrorists, all the people that showed up. And, okay, whatever. White House confirms Joe Biden and Barack Obama speak regularly, consult on a range of... Of course, because it's the Obama administration, part two. Joe Biden can't seem to do anything by himself. Joe Biden was uh, doing a presser here. Uh, who am I supposed to turn this over to? Staffer says, okay, it's time for the press to leave. And I got one, one more in the general bin. This pissed me off. Sidney Powell says... No reasonable person would believe her election lies. This is because all of lawsuits being filed by Dominion. Nope, I was just making it all up. No reasonable person could have believed this. What, what a way to stick by your convictions. Anyway, over to financial news. How major U.S. stock index has fared on Friday. Looks like the Dow rose 453 for the week. The Dow was up 444. 33072 33,000 on the Dow. Things are good, right? Get your stimulus money yet? This woman did. Woman spends nearly half her stimulus check on giant crab, only to have it arrive dead. Strange news in the financial news this week. Check out her video if you want. Man, uh, suspect arrested uh, for killing four and fight over stimulus check. People are fighting over the monies. Krispy Kreme, whenever you spend all your stimulus money, you can get a free donut if you get a COVID vaccination card. I think they're giving out a free don donut every day. But I like to, you actually have to give people free donuts to get shots. What? I, <laughs> Biden White House preparing $3 trillion spending package to tackle climate change infrastructure, provide free community college, a lot more free shit coming. Who's paying for it? Nobody. Uh, the White House press secretary struggles to explain why migrants get free hotel rooms while National Guardsmen sleep on the floor. I would like to know that myself. Put a link to that. Obama-era officials return to the White House worth millions. Of course, none of them are suffering. Put a link to that. Obama administration part two. City of Oakland mayor uh, branded racist for giving families of color $500 a month if they re if they earn under $59,000. Only black people get the monies. Put a link. That is racist. Uh, Illinois, speaking of uh, you know, reparations, Illinois first in the uh, U.S. to pay reparations, a little town in Illinois to black residents. Put a link to that from Fox News. Elon Musk, if you got some extra Bitcoin, announces on Twitter that you can now buy a Tesla with Bitcoins. I wonder what the uh, IRS would have to say about that. A couple more in here. Supply bottleneck leave dozens of container ships off the California coast. Be advised, prices of shit going up, and everybody's already aware of the Suez Canal uh, debacle. But did you know that the cargo ship drew a penis and a butt before getting stuck in the Suez Canal? It's true, there it is. Not really a surprise there, seeing how it's evergreen Hillary Clinton and all. Anyway, over to, where are we now? New World Order and Police State News. This is where I stop and ask you to share this video. Important things coming up. Oh my God, foreign holidays will be illegal in Monday. New COVID law means $5,000 fines for anyone leaving the UK without reasonable excuse. You cannot leave, slaves. Angela Merkel pleads for forgiveness after Germans uh, 
after she scraps lockdown plans, which they were a mistake alone. But 37 million still face nighttime curfews. I don't understand nighttime curfews to slow third wave. Nah, we just want to, you know, lock, keep you slaves alive. Anyway, the Guardian uh, care home workers in England face mandatory COVID jabs. Here we go with the mandatory vaccines coming to the U.S. site, folks. Be advised. In fact, Rutgers makes COVID-19 vaccine mandatory for students. Yes, March 25th from the New York Post. I'll put a link to it. Let's see. We got uh, launching of a digital vaccination certification platform. Of course, it's like we knew the future. I'll put a link to this. All this stuff we said years ago. Here it is. Biden calls for ban on assault weapons and high capacity magazines. Of course, you knew that was coming. See my last video. But it's just amazing that all this gun legislation came out. And then all oh, now we have these shootings again. Well, I went through all that. Didn't I? Anyway, everybody knows what's going on. Uh, let's see. This senator wants uh, not passing gun control sends message to mass shooters that it's okay. I just, you know, a bunch of people just got stabbed up in Canada. I demand that we ban knives. See my last Twitter post for that link. Uh, Ninth Circuit, check this out. No right to carry firearm either open or concealed. March 24, 2021. Biden administration urges Supreme Court to let cops enter homes to seize guns without a warrant. Isn't it amazing how all this is happening with these, with, the, with all the, it's, again, it's like we knew the future just speechless. Border Patrol uh, news, uh, Rio Grande Valley considering releasing illegals uh, crossers into U.S. without a court date. Come on in, no problem. Migrant crisis forced Arizona border to, uh, to declare state of emergency. And I got one more. VP Harris laughs it off when asked if she's going to plan the... So Who needs a border? North American Union Security and Prosperity Partnership. Google this stuff. We told you this, but we're crazy. Over to World War Three news, USAF RC-135 uh comes closest to China's uh, country's uh, border uh, ever since data public so far. I'll put a link to it. 200 Chinese vessels in line formation sighted in Philippine Sea with Philippine exclusive zone. Put a link to that. Uh, Royal Navy to deploy a secret high-tech ship to fight Russian submarines in secret ocean war. Secret ocean war going on, be advised. A source reported uh, says a Russian submarine missing from NATO radars. What's going on there? Iranian missile hits Israeli-owned cargo ship in the Arabian Sea. Uh-oh, more troubles. Point Yang, North Korea this week. North Korea, Kim Jong-un is like, finally, I have bigger penis. Uh, Point Yang says it fired new tactical guided missile, ramps up testing. It, it fired several of these things this week. North Korea fired missiles after U.S. military exercises with South Korea. Uh, North Korea officially rejects any contact with new U.S. administration. I have bigger penis. You fall downstairs. Uh, Biden administration announces new Myanmar sanctions after military ousts Obama, Clinton, supported regime, freezes Soros Bank. I love it. Put a link to that. Senior U.S. Uh, official acknowledges Washington has spent $143 billion to destroy its own government in Afghanistan. Well, war is very profitable. Got to keep it going. Gunmen on motorbikes raid Niger villages. Kill at least 137. And I got one more. Taiwan loses two fighter jets in apparent collision. A third crash in six months. Over to Earth changes in 2012 news. Now I got it set up for six points and above for the past week. No six points and above earthquakes in the past week. How about five points and above? A lot of five points going on. I'll put a link to the earthquake data. I didn't see too much on volcanoes this week, but I did see this. You guys got to check this video out. Drone pilot has captured incredible footage of volcano, the one that's erupting in Iceland. Man, mesmerizing video there. Almost doesn't even look real, but it is. <laughs> Powerful images of deadly tornado outbreak in the south. Apparently in Georgia and Alabama the past couple days, there's been a tornado outbreak. We had some storms in St. Louis late tonight. Put a link to that. Uh, Bill Gates wants to spray millions of tons of chalk into the stratosphere to reflect sunlight to slow global warming. I'm pretty sure that's already happened. <laughs> And barium and aluminum and all kinds of stuff. But, you know, we're the crazy ones. Put a link to that. DailyMail.com says Australia hit by biblical rodent problem. Millions of mice and rats invade rural towns. The supermarket 500 a night. That's a shitty problem to have. What about this problem? Do spiders give you the heebie-jeebies? New South Wales and Australia. Uh, let's see. Forced uh, mass exodus of spiders because of flooding. Put a link to that. Yikes. Big goings on in the sky this week. Oh my god, have you seen it? Cosmic shower. Locals report seeing bright meteors from Britain to Cuba to the U.S. Put a link to this. We got huge boom uh, heard across uh, southwest England. Meteor lights up the sky. All kinds of got all kinds of stuff if you scroll down there. We got this was over the northeast United States, I think it was. We got that one there. And then out on the west coast. Check this what out. What the heck is that? Check this out. Dude, that's a, like a comet or something. Look at this. What? Oh my gosh, a that's a comet. It's shooting stars, so many. 
It's just a matter of time before we're hit by some shit, people. I'm telling you that now. We got a couple more. Warp speed may be possible with tremendous amounts of energy. That's probably already happened. They just don't tell us about it. U.S. has secret evidence of UFOs. Breaking sound barrier without a sign. Boom. Performing uh, moves humans don't have the technology for. Oh, what a strange and bizarre news. We got some strange this this week. Tesla's full self-driving beta is just laughably bad and potentially dangerous. Check out this car trying to drive itself. <laughs> it couldn't be as bad as the Atlanta driver, though. Meet the most dangerous driver in Atlanta. Language warning. What Check it out. What? what? I just lost my wheel. It's called three-wheel motion. You know, from the late 90s. From <laughs> late to that. What else we got here? Alabama man arrested for holding National Guardsmen transporting COVID-19 vaccines at gunpoint. Give me all your monies and vaccines. Man dies after parachute fails to open after leap off Florida balcony. I believe I can fly. Put a link to that. Couple buys California dream home, but seller refuses to move out. Uh, an eviction moratorium loophole. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, Twitch streamer is assaulted by his drunken father for unpaid rent. Apparently the father's upset that the son spends all his time on the computer, comes to collect monies, and they get into a fight live on the stream. Effing weirdo Southwest pilot caught on mic and expletive-filled uh, rant about the San Francisco Bay Area. Meanwhile, in Miami Beach. Now, if this was the reason for the curfew, last week I thought it was like police state lock, but check this madness out. This craziness going on in Miami Beach. That's what it says anyway. I don't know. Is this what's going on in Miami? Is anybody in Miami that can confirm this? Look at this. Look at this. What's that, bitch? Ah. Bitches fighting all over the place. Put it like that. Naked woman, 43, pulled from Florida storm drain. Claims she was trapped in three weeks after she went swimming in the canal. But she's got a history of drug use and mental illness. Put a link to that. Not sure what's going on there. Kamala Harris this week is no longer a black female. She is now referred to as an Asian. Thank you very much. For all other news, please check out my favorite videos. There's tons of stuff over there. We got city uh, homeless tents. Uh, check out what's going on in Portland. The whole city is just trash. 32 killed. Two trains collide in Egypt. We got Erin Elizabeth Helton. The news she's being messed with. You want to check out her video. Uh, massive protest uh, about a homeless encampment. Thank you to everybody who continues to post content. You guys are doing awesome work keeping everybody informed. I do have some shout outs this week. Shout out to the people. Okay, I guess this child was being told to get off a plane because she wasn't wearing a mask. The whole plane got up and deplaned. Shout out to the people. Hell yeah. Death to the New World Order. And shout out to the Boomstick 1776. Check this thing out. Police bought these yesterday at a gun buyback event. Once he demonstrated that it worked, they bought them for $200 each. I hope you took that money and made more boomsticks and maybe bought a new AR-15. That's all I got for this week, guys. If you like the report, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you think it sucked, it's the worst of YouTube. You never want to see again. Please rate it. It helps it move around. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, BitChute, Gab. All my links are always at the bottom. Make sure you're following me other places because you never know. You can also support me on Patreon or directly with PayPal. I put a lot of work into these reports. I, pull, I do appreciate any support. What a week. I got a little more energy this week than I had last week. Finally got the transmission done. For those of you following me on my backup channel, you know about that. So I feel good about that. The car's back on the road. I feel good. Storm, fresh air is coming in from the rain. What a week. What are we going to have next week? More gun control. There's going to be another event and, you know, you know, more vaccines, more, more places talking about that, that school in the U S talking about mandatory. Like I said, it's like we knew the future. That's all I got for now. You guys take care, stay safe, remain vigilant, be ready for anything at any time. Cause it's crazy people. I'll see you on the next one.